You're watching Hexus TV, and in these credit crunch times, I'm going to need a hell of a lot of convincing to buy myself a new graphics card. Bill Donnelly is the global PR director for Sapphire, and he reckons that he can convince me to buy one of his new cards. Bill, what's so special about this card? Well, basically, we're introduced uh, a new model, which is uh, two uh, 4850s in one card. So, so a bit like the 4870X2, this is a 4850X2. That's exactly right. right. Um, and what that gives people, of course, is the power of two graphics processors on one card without the need for a special mainboard that's crossfire enabled. So, so, so say, for example, I had um, an Intel-based base board and I've only got the one PCIe slot, I can run run Crossfire and I don't have to buy a new board, is that right? Well, actually, the Crossfire is invisible to the user. It's picked up by the driver. Right. So um, you just literally put this card in with the correct driver and you get you know, pretty much twice the performance of having a single card in there. And I haven't got to buy a new main board, I guess. That's right. Okay. Of course, if you do have a Crossfire-enabled main board, then you can even use two of these with the new Crossfire X drivers and you have the power of four graphics processors then. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that getting a little bit extreme, though? Well, people are a bit extreme with their gaming these days. They want to run really huge monitors with high resolutions, and that's exactly the market we're aiming for. I've got to ask, what's the special features, though? Because you've done, like, the 4870X2. So this is the 4850X2. Is there anything extra special about this? Well, the first thing, I think, is that the HD4850 uses DDR3 memory, right. which is slightly more cost-effective, so we can produce this board at a lower cost than we can do the 4870X to. Right, okay. But in the course of redesigning this board, we've actually introduced a number of new features. Right. The first one is that we actually have four DVI outs plus the TV out. So you okay, can actually okay. use this for a multi-monitor situation. But can I actually use four monitors? As long as you're using digital outputs. Um, so in other words, four digital outputs yeah. plus, a, plus one TV out. You can use them all simultaneously. So, so with, the, with the four DVI out, I can have my four screens. So, if I get two of those, can I do what the flight sim guys do and have like a big cockpit of eight screens um, all, 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 sit, all sitting there in one go? Yes, you really can. And the fact that we've built this in the width of a standard two slot solution means that you can put two of these side by side in any motherboard oh, that's yeah, yeah, uh, it is got the right spacing for the yeah. PCI Express slots. Okay, because um, I, I, I have four... seen cards which are three slots wide, which basically means you can't do it. Well, obviously, it depends on the layout of your main board, yeah. but if you have the traditional spacing for the PCI Express slots, this solution yeah. would exactly fit. Just drop straight in? Yeah. OK. So, with the, with the, four, with the four DVI outs, is that just uh, standard 2D stuff, or can I do 3D across the four DVIs? No, um, you can do 3D, but you won't get the acceleration of using the two together in Crossfire. Right, if okay. you enable Crossfire, what you'll get now is one accelerated Crossfire output, right. and also another monitor output as well, which can be either a clone of that or a desktop. Oh, right, OK. So, so, I, so I, I, I if, if you enable Crossfire, you're really behaving like you're one very fast card instead yeah. of two separate cards. OK, so uh, you mentioned very fast there, but how fast is very fast? I mean, obviously it's not going to be as quick as a 4870 because it's not a 4870, or is it in the same league? Or Well, we feel it's pretty much in the same league. If you're running at high resolutions with features turned on, yeah. Which is the high ground that where we want to be? Yeah. Then yes, we will beat the uh, the two eighty series cars on most platforms. So we're talking all the whistles blowing and all the bells ringing. That's where you're aiming the card, yeah? Absolutely, yes. I mean, gamers these days want to play uh, on very large screens, but with and high resolutions with yeah. all the features turned on, so they can all the levels of I detail. I want the IMAX experience, basically. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, people who are taking gaming seriously now are spending a lot of money on high quality monitors, and they want the display to reflect that. Uh, so I'm looking at the back of it, so the 4DVI is actually quite attractive to me, but I have noticed what I think is a design problem with this. OK, what's that? Well, where are you going to exhaust the hot air? Because on your 4870s, you had like a little grid here and you blew through. So how are you going to solve that for me? Well, actually, one of the design features of this board is that we have two separate cooling systems for the two graphics processors. So in, in this case, what we've done is we've actually used two separate cooler blocks, one for each graphics processor. Right, right. Yeah, so you, so you can see the airflow on the graphic. OK, all right. Um, but surely with two fans and all that sort of thing, I'm going to be listening to something that's going to sound a bit like a vacuum cleaner? Um, well, no, actually, uh, you can choose the fan profiles to be better in terms of noise characteristics anyway. Okay. And what we do on this card is we've actually um, incorporated uh, fan speed control in the BIOS, which is regulated by the driver as well, so right. that when the card's under low load, 
the fans are running at very low speed and okay. therefore very quiet and will only speed up to to give you the, the better cooling uh, when you put a higher demand on like playing well, a game or probably doing got the headphones 3D. on anyway well yeah exactly you know? The other thing, uh, all of the cards in the 48000 series um, have incorporated the, the AMD PowerPlay features, which means that they, they reduce the power consumption on the system as well when they're under lower load. Is it um, uh, driver-based or is it like a little app which runs in the background or something? Uh, I think it's essentially part of the driver in, in cooperation with the, the BIOS that's built into the card. Right, OK. So that the, the system knows when the card is working heavily compared with when it's not right. and is able to shut down some parts of the circuitry when it's not actually in use. Okay. Um, so a it's good a bit example, green, is it? Eco yeah, friendly. it's supposed to be green, yeah. yeah saving dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. other thing that all of these cards have is a built-in UVD decoder, which is a universal video decoder, right. uh, which allows you to decode Blu-ray discs, um, HD, DVD and some MPEG files okay. uh, using the power of the graphics processor rather than the main CPU in the system. So that actually uh, enables you to do uh, to that much more smoothly and efficiently. So I've got, I've got my two cards and my two slots, but this one's going to throw you now. What if I don't want to do DVI? What if I want to hook it up to my TV and I want to go through HDMI? You've only, I've only got DVI here. Uh, you've got DVI and TV out actually on the bracket. Right. Um, for the TV out, we supply you with uh, an S-Video connector, which obviously isn't particularly good quality, yeah. but we also give you a, a dongle to um, decode RGB for HDTV. Oh, OK. Um, if you want to use HDMI... Yeah, I can't. A, yes, you can, because um, we have a DVI to HDMI dongle. Oh, you're crafty uh, buggers, uh, which, you? So you just use, again, uh, and again with the ATI series of cards, uh, the HDMI audio is also relayed through the dongle, so you don't have to have a separate connection for your audio. It'll pick up audio and video through the HDMI single cable. That would suit me down to the ground, to be honest, because sitting there having, like, you know, disconnected to that and all this sort of thing, if I can just do it all through one cable... <laughs> Well, it also means people can connect to uh, most modern TVs now, have an HDMI connector. We c we're putting uh, audio and video straight onto the TV, so if you're streaming a, a Blu-ray video or if you're playing your games or whatever, you can have them on your big telly now. So if I'm going to sit there, I'm going to build myself, which I am very shortly building a decent HD PC, home theatre PC, I can stick one of these cards in, connect it by HDMI, I can do Blu-ray through it, I can do my HD um, DVD through it, if I have an HD DVD player in my machine, obviously and then I can also play my games on my wall-mounted big TV. Is that right? Well, this is really aimed at the enthusiast yeah. gamer who wants to do his uh, Blu-ray and uh, TV on the side. Yeah, yeah, and, and I have the <laughs> Mrs. Tutting <laughs> sit, sitting there tutting when she wants to watch Desperate Housewives, but I, I'm actually giving it something Far Cry 2. Something like on that, On the yeah. big screen, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you've ne I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, Bill, you've nearly got me sold on one of these, so I, th I think it's a case of... Yeah, all right, and OK, all right, I'll buy one, I'll buy one. Where am I going to get it from? Well, this uh, particular configuration is only available from Sapphire, so it would be available through our normal channel partners and e-tailers. All right, well, there we go. So um, he has, he has, honestly, he has pretty much convinced me to get one because I do need to build myself an extreme HTPC. Um, so check out sooner on Hexus TV for more gaming fun whilst I get extreme on my big-ass TV. Bill, thanks for coming in. You're welcome.